नमस्कार इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोज वी अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर फंक्शन ऑफ अ रैंडम वेरिएबल एंड वी डिड फ्यू पास पेपर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड वील गो थ्रू अ पास पेपर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ से फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स एंड वाई आर एनी टू रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड ए एंड बी स्मॉल ए एंड स्मॉल बी आर सम कॉन्स्टेंट देन ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई basically is a linear combination of x and y linear combination of x and y okay and in turn i can say that this is nothing but a new random variable okay now if ax plus by is a new random variable then this new random variable also will have some sort of mean and variance it will have some sort of distribution of its own okay before understanding the mean and the variance of ax plus by let's try to understand how we can have different examples of linear combination of random variables i can have something like this 3 by 2x minus of 4 by 5y or i can have something like this 4x minus 7y, or I can have something like this: 2y plus 3x. All these are what? These are nothing but an examples of linear combination of x and y. Now, if I have to find out the mean of ax plus by, then how do I get the mean of ax plus by? We have already studied how to find out mean of a linear function of a random variable x. the same concept we will apply here so what we will get here mean of ax plus by will be equal to mean of ax plus mean of by this in turn i can write it as a times mean of x or the expectance of x plus b times the expectance of y now i can have a linear combination like this also ax minus of by so in that case what do we do we say the mean of ax minus by is nothing but a times mean of x minus b times mean of y okay so the plus sign if there is a plus sign so here we get in the expansion the plus if there is a minus sign here we get minus now how to find out variance of ax plus or minus by okay now to find out the variance one thing is very very important if x and y are independent variables this is very very important if x and y are independent then if i have to find out variance of let me bring it down here variance of ax plus or minus by then this becomes directly a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y so if you see the random variable if it is having a plus sign or a minus sign still the variance when we are trying to find out the variance basically is directly getting added so we can say variance are always added okay now here we took only two variables random variables x and y suppose if there are more than two random variables suppose i can have x y u v and so on many random variables okay and we have got some constants like this a b c d and so on so many constants then if i have to find out the mean of a new random variable suppose i take a new random variable a x plus b y plus c u plus d v and so on i have got so many variables and i have combined them to form a new random variable so how do i find out the mean using the same particular concept here the mean of this new random variable will be equal to a times mean of x plus b times mean of y plus c times mean of u plus d times mean of v and so on so what do you do you split up this particular uh, you find out the mean of the individual 
random variables and you multiply it with the constant with which the random variable was multiplied here. Okay. Similarly, variance of ax plus by plus cu plus dv and so on if I have to find out. For this, again, it is very necessary that if x, u, v, all these are independent. Suppose all these are independent random variables. Then I can directly find out the variance as a square variance of x plus b square variance of y plus c square variance of u plus d square variance of v and so on. I can add up all the variance. Okay. Now let's take a past paper question based on the same concept. Let's read the question. An examination consists of a written paper and a practical test. The written paper marks M have mean 54.8 and standard deviation 16.0. The practical marks are independent of the written paper marks and have mean 82.4 and standard deviation 4.8. The final mark is found by adding 75% of the written marks to 25% of the practical marks. Find the mean and the standard deviation of the final marks of the examination. Let's try to write down the data whatever they have given us. Okay, What they have given? They have given the mean marks of the written paper. The mean of the written paper marks basically they have given it as 54.8 and variance what they have given because they have given us the standard deviation so I can say variance is 16.0 square correct so that is 256 256 and for the practical test what they have given the expectance of the practical test basically they have given it as 82.4 and the standard deviation they have given it as 4.8 so the variance of the practical test will be 4.8 square correct so this we will get it as 23.04 now the final mark is what what else they have given in fact before final mark they have given that m and p are independent this is very very important okay now the final marks they are saying the final marks basically is found by adding 75% marks of the written paper plus 25% of the practical marks. Correct? Now, so can I say the final mark is a new random variable? So that will be equal to what? 3 by 4 of m. I can write it like this 3 by 4 of m plus 1 fourth of this becomes a new random variable. So for this particular new random variable, I am supposed to find out the mean and the standard deviation. So E of F will be equal to E of 3 by 4 M plus 1 by 4 of P. So what did we study right now? We studied that that mean will be equal to what of this particular random variable? It will be 3 by 4 into mean of M plus 1 by 4 into mean of p. If there would have been a minus sign here, I would have put minus sign here. Correct? So this will be equal to what? This will be equal to 3 by 4 into mean of m that is 54.8 plus 1 by 4 into mean of p that is 82.4. And if I solve this on the calculator, what is the final answer I'll get? I'll get this as 61.7. Now, how to find out variance of this final mark? So the variance of the final marks will be variance of this whole term, the random variable which we have formed. Now to find out this particular variance, as we know that m and p are independent, so we know that the variance are always going to get added up. So here what we will get, we will get 3 by 4 the whole square into variance of m plus 1 by 4 the whole square into variance of p. Okay. So what do we get from here? We get this as 9 by 16 into variance of m. Variance of m is 256. 
प्लस वन बाय सिक्सटीन इंटू वेरियंस ऑफ पी इज वॉट ट्वेंटी So if I solve this on the calculator, what value do I get? I get this as one forty five point four four. So therefore, the standard deviation of f will be equal to what? It will be of f. In fact, it will be equal to what? Square root of variance of f. Correct. So that means square root of One forty-five point four four. If I find this on the calculator, what do I get? I get this as twelve point zero five nine something something. So which in turn I can say it is twelve point one in terms of three SF. Okay. Now to master linear combination of random variables, understanding different types of random variables is very important. To understand one of the random variables, do watch the playlist. coming on the screen in front of you in next few moments radhe radhe